Hello everyone, today I will be showing you how to start and shut down a Cessna 172 engine. First off, you're going to need your checklist to make sure you do everything correctly. Go to start. First thing you're going to do is turn the beacon on so people know where you are. Next is the master switch which controls everything, all the electronics, everything except the electronics to the engine which is on its own. We're going to wait a couple seconds for everything to get ready, make sure everything is on. Next thing on the list is to enrich the mixture. And the mixture is the fuel and air and it tells how, many, how much fuel and how much air is in it. Next is going to be throttle full. Next on the list is the fuel pump. Fuel pump pumps fuel into the engine so it can start up quicker. And it's this little right here. Once it jumps up to five, which I'm guessing right now is gonna do that almost immediately. And then you shut it off. There is a little jump right there. Next, you're gonna open the throttle a fourth of an inch, which is about that much. And pull the mixture to idle cutoff which cuts, cuts all the power to the engine, or all the fuel to the engine. Next, you can get your keys. Open the window and yell clear. Clear! <coughs> Put the key in right there. And next, turn it on. When, it, when you turn it on, you push uh, the key all the way to the right. You're gonna push the mixture in once it starts to fire and you're going to pull the throttle out so it doesn't go over a thousand rpms and here we go next was turn the taxi light on and then the avionics which is which goes to the headset so you can hear me after you do that taxi light on and then avionics on which controls all the avionics radios GPS everything next you're gonna lean out the mixture so you don't foul any of the spark plugs what the next is flaps retract since I didn't do a pre-flight those are already up, and then transponder is on, first and last left it on. And now for the shutdown. What we're going to do on the shutdown is first, avionics is going to come off. That turns off my mic. Tower, and now the mic. One is turning out. After that, I'm going to turn the lights off, which beacon and actually the light are going to come off. Next, I'm going to pull the mixture all the way out to cut the fuel to the engine and throttle all the way out. Next I'm going to turn the magnetos off which is like a spark plug and turn that off. And then next is master and transponder is going to go to standby. And here we go. So avionics comes off and you will not be able to hear me. And what it's doing right now is the master is shutting off. It's shutting off all the power, the all the power to pretty much everything, all the gyros, everything. And that is how you turn on and shut off a Cessna 172 engine. For only 190 bucks, it's very worth it to get as your first headset for aviation, or even as a backup if you have one. If you wanna be flying with a bunch of people, I would, I would rather prefer this than David Clark's. I've flown with a David Clark's before, 